Hello friends, in reasoning we often find a particular question of cubes in which a cube, a large cube is being painted from all sides and then it is cut into some definite number of cubes. Now you need to tell how many of the smaller cubes will have one surface painted, two surfaces painted, three surfaces painted or no surfaces painted. If you don't know the concept then it can be a little tricky but if you are aware of the shortcut then you can solve this problem in one or two seconds time only. How? Let us try and understand this concept of painted cube. Now suppose we have a large cube and we have painted it from all sides, all six faces. Now in how many cubes it can be cut? Now that depends on the number of cubes cut along the edge. I am drawing a simple cube here and then we will try to understand this concept. Now this is a big cube and we have along the length we have cut two equal cubes. Now this is the side of the smaller cube and this is also the side of the smaller cube. So if you have made two cubes along the length then there will be two along the height and two along the breadth. We cannot have equal, we cannot have unequal number of cubes along the length, breadth and height. So how many sections we have made along the length? The number of sections is two. So whenever we have two sections made along the length then there will be two cube is equal to eight cubes of equal volume, equal length which can be cut from this larger cube. Similarly, suppose you have made this section in such a way that the length is divided into three parts like this. Now see three, three parts. Now three cubes along the length. So how many total cubes will be cut? There will be three cube, 27 cubes. And similarly, if you divide the length into four equal parts, then four cube, 64 cubes will be made. Even if the number of smaller cubes exceed 64, like if 5 cubes are cut along the length, then 5 cube, 125 cubes will be there. If 6 cubes are cut along the length, then 216 smaller cubes will be there. Now this is the first concept you need to know. How many cubes can be cut from a large cube? It can either be 8, 27, 64, 125, 216 and other perfect cube numbers. Now after this, the number of sections made along the edge, I am talking of the number of parts in which the length is divided here or the number of cubes cut along the length. If you assume this number of sections made along the edge be n, then out of all these cubes, how many cubes will have three surfaces painted? Number of painted surfaces, this is first column and number of cubes, the second column. Now I will tell you the shortcut for this. See number of painted surfaces 3. If you cut this in uh, along the length, breadth and height into smaller cubes, then some of the smaller cubes will have 3 painted surfaces. How to find how many cubes will have 3 painted surfaces? Let me tell you, let it be any number of smaller cubes. The number of cubes having three painted surfaces will always be 8. Now this is a fixed quantity irrespective of the number of cubes into which the larger cube is cut. What is the difference? If the number of painted surfaces is 2, now you need to know if there are 
two painted surfaces the number of cubes having two painted surfaces will be n minus 2 multiplied by 12 now how to find this in case of eight cubes now eight cubes are made when the length is divided into two sections so if you put n equal to 2 here then this becomes zero that means when there are eight cubes made then there will not be any cube having two painted surfaces so you can just substitute n equal to 2 that is number of sections made along the length so n is 2 means number of painted surfaces are 2 for zero cubes likewise if the number of smaller cubes along the length is 3 just put 3 here 3 minus 2 is 1 1 into 12 is 12 so there will be 12 small cubes having two painted surfaces this is in case of 27 cubes out of 27 8 will have three painted surfaces and 12 will have two painted surfaces so you can just substitute value of n from this base now the third one how many cubes will have one painted surface now one painted surface you can just write this n minus 2 again but this time you need to find the square of this and multiply it by 6 now again if there are 8 cubes then n is 2 substitute n equal to 2 you get 0 again because all 8 are painted from three sides but in case of 27 cubes n equal to 3 put n equal to 3 here 3 minus 2 is 1 1 square is 1 1 into 6 6 so there will be 6 cube out of 27 which will have one painted surface and finally how many cubes will have no painted surface now again write the same factor n minus 2 and this time find the cube of this factor n minus 2 so again in case of 8 cubes n is 2 so there will not be any painted surface uh, there will not be any cube which is not painted from any side but in case of n equal to 3 that is 27 small cubes 3 minus 2 1 1 cube is 1 so there will be one cube which will have zero painted surfaces so you can test this out i will just find it for for an example i'll take n equal to 4 that means 64 small cubes so if a large cube is painted from all sides and then that large cube is cut into 64 small cubes then we need to find how many of those 64 cubes will have zero painted surfaces one painted surface two painted and three painted let's see in case of 64 cubes n is 4 so three painted surfaces three painted are always fixed so out of 64 8 will have three painted surfaces now let's talk of two painted surfaces here n is 4 so just put n equal to 4 here you get 4 minus 2 2 and 2 into 12 24 so we will have 24 cubes which have two painted surfaces out of 6 friends you don't need to think about each cube independently you just need to know the concept the shortcut the formula and here you are with the problem if you start counting 24 cubes in exam in competitions obviously a lot of time will be wasted but those who know the formula they will do it in hardly 2 seconds time so let's have two painted surfaces how many cubes will have two painted surfaces so uh, we have done two let's have one one painted surface okay now put n equal to 4 here 4 minus 2 2 2 square is 
फोर सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर सो अगेन वी हैव ट्वेंटी फोर स्मॉल क्यूब्स विच हैव वन पेंटेड सर्फेसिस ट्वेंटी फोर विच हैव टू पेंटेड एट विच हैव थ्री पेंटेड सर्फेसिस एंड वॉट अबाउट नो पेंटेड सर्फेस लेट्स नो पेंटेड सर्फेस द फॉर्मुला इज एन माइनस टू होल क्यूब पुट एन इक्वल टू फोर फोर माइनस टू 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 क्यूब इज एट सो वील हैव एट क्यूब्स विच हैव जीरो पेंटेड सर्फेसिस Now let's verify this. Eight plus twenty-four plus twenty-four plus eight. This is sixteen plus twenty-four forty plus twenty-four sixty-four cubes. And here we are with the problem. Out of these sixty-four cubes, these many cubes will have zero, one, two, three painted surfaces. So friends, a very very important concept. Once you are aware of the concept. then the problems whatever problems are asked in exam related to painted cubes will take only 2 to 3 seconds to solve so practice this concept and i'm sure you will find at least one question of painted cubes in exams which include the reasoning portion so friends if you like the video do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel